Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Explicit Materia, the podcast where a nerdy drummer talks to his friends. Follow me on Twitter at The Wise Drums, Instagram at Wise Drums, Facebook at Wise Drums, or follow the Explicit Materia Facebook page. (laughs) And of course, subscribe to YouTube.com slash Wise Drums, where I post clips of this podcast and other stuff like my cover of the CU podcast theme song. That podcast is awesome it's seriously one of my inspirations for doing this podcast and if you're looking for a great video game podcast stop listening to me now and subscribe to the completely unnecessary podcast right this moment and look folks this podcast is rated ma rated mature if you're easily offended by any controversial satirical or seemingly offensive material please move on this podcast isn't for you any disagreements you might have with the points presented i'd love to hear what you have to say via twitter or the youtube comment section my guest today is chelsea osmond she's one of my younger friends she's kind of my line into what the kids are up to today because i'm just i'm so out of the loop and so we have conversations about what's going on she's always she told she taught me how to say uh how to well, spill the tea we, we, how, the kids are saying that now i didn't know what that meant she told me what that was um so that was fun uh we're always having fun conversations and she's always making me laugh so i've been wanting to have her on the podcast for a while she's uh wanting to become a party planner going to college for event planning she's wanting to start up a youtube channel she actually has a youtube channel it's called Miss Elanius. great name uh we had a fun chat about her life her goals her interesting family like her scientist grandfather who is known for inventing the word psychedelic that's pretty freaking cool like he invented a term that we all use that's insane um it was just a good time hanging out with her like always so let's move on to the podcast give it up for chelsea osmond It is from Wikipedia, which is... That might be wrong. It's, yeah. <laughs> Everything in Wikipedia is totally true. Not really. Chelsea Osmond is here <laughs> on the podcast. Look at that beautiful makeup. It's just artistry. It's artistry. Yes, it is. I, I can't do it. that. This ain't even perfect. This <laughs> <laughs> happened in like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> She's the future of YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. The future of YouTube. If I ever post anything. <laughs> <laughs> you could speak up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be whispering, okay. <laughs> no, if you're going to be whispering, you just get a little bit closer to the mic there. I keep it's okay. Back. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing, you're doing so good. <laughs> you're you'll, you'll for, you're, <laughs> you're going to forget that we're doing this right now. Okay. I promise. Okay. Uh, so what are your plans for the YouTube channel? Because I know you've been doing it for a while. I know you've okay. been wanting to do it for a while. Yeah, We've talked I'm, about yeah. it. <laughs> We've talked about it many times, and it's gone through different forms and different... Do you want it to be a blog? Do you want it to do... I want it to be like a travel vlog, and I want to like um, try different restaurants and go different places and stay at different hotels. But I'm broke right now, <laughs> and that costs. So <laughs> I can't do that. Right now. And then I also have this really bad thing where I'll film everything and then not edit it or I'll film too much and then have way too much content to make into a small... You film it on your iPhone, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, th- you think about getting, like, some more equipment? Like, maybe, like, a, a professional camera? I have Something camera, like that. But it's more, like, for photos. It's not a good video camera. I've been doing my research. So. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? What, what camera are you looking at? Oh, God. I don't even know. It's like the Canon one with the, like yours. Oh, that's but a yours Sony. But yours is Sony Mine's with the Canon one. The Canon one. Yeah, the Canon ones are really good. The yeah. Canon ones um, are, but Sony's climbing up the ranks, I've heard. I've only been in the researching cameras a little over a year and I still don't know like all the specs and stuff. I, I actually defer to my friend who's in like the movie industry, and yeah. he's actually the one that referred me to that little small camera. It was only, that camera is only eight hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a good camera. And it's not even like the the the. It's Mark Three out of Mark. I think Mark Six. That thing. Yeah. Is eight hundred dollars. That thing is eight hundred dollars. It's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's very tiny, and it's also very heavy bulky is not it? bulky but it's like it's it's a lot more heavier than it looks it's, yeah, it's weird you could just stick it in your purse i did i took it with uh i took it with me when we went to the highland games 
You know what the Highland Games are? No. The Highland Games <laughs> are where pretty much every Scottish family in Tennessee get together and they have like, they have all these tents and all these like events set up. They have like uh, just celebrating their Scottish her- heritage and stuff. And it's like, it's like a big event. I thought it was going to be like a few tents here and there and like maybe some, you know, darts or something. I don't know, golf, you know. But no, it was like a big event. There were so many people. There was like these giant dudes in the middle, like throwing shot put. Yeah, well, it was I'm not awesome. To this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need to be Scottish. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I took that with me and I was like, wow, this thing actually is, you know, really nice to have. It's really just tiny. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. test it with my phone because this new phone is really heavy. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, you got the, the 10. Yes. Are you liking it so far? Yes, and I find new things about it every day. Like yesterday, okay, have you, have you ever like looked at an iPad and when you're like on the messages? Yeah. And it has like the message you're on and then like the rest, like your rest of your message, like the thread and then like everybody else you've contacted. My mm-hmm. phone does that. Oh. When I turn, <laughs> turn it sideways. <laughs> I know that's like not amusing, but I was excited yesterday. I was like, mom, my phone. <laughs> Do yeah. you, you like the facial recognition thing? Yes. Oh my God, it. It can see me in the dark. It can see me with sunglasses on. It could. What was I doing the other day? I had a face mask on. You had a face I mask had a on. Face mask on, and it recognized me. Are you serious? Yeah. That's crazy. I know, right? I wonder how yeah. that's. How does how did it do that? I don't know. Apple's got some weird magical technology. That's, 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 they hide that people. is magical. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Man. It's nice. So you wanna you wanna do it you wanna like do a travel blog because I did because you're really into makeup too. Um, do, have you thought of doing like makeup tutorials uh, or like talking about like makeup a lines? Get ready with me, but like what's a get ready with me? Explain that to me and whoever doesn't know what a get ready with me is. Okay, so a get ready with me would be like you basically just get ready. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> you film yourself getting ready and you like do like a chit chat. You can like some people do chit chat, get ready with me. So like mm-hmm. you can just talk about what's going on in your life or, you know, just vent to the camera and then make, put your makeup on. Really? Mm-hmm. It's, and, and people watch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm one to talk. I'm, I, I watch people play video games all the time. So it's like, people watch that? Like, nope. yeah, people watch it. They sure do. That's, yeah. That's pretty crazy how people, people's like normal mundane activities have now become, you know, like YouTube sensations. Yeah. You know? It's so it's crazy. Fun. So I spend my time watching people get ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, now I have to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I do not envy you, ladies. <laughs> Although my, my hair takes minutes. a little bit of time to make makeup. Sometimes, uh, you know, about 15 minutes. <laughs> what do you put in it to make it stay like that? Uh, what do I put it? I put in a uh, product like uh, that. It's not clay, but it's like that. It's not gel either. It's, oh, I forget what it's called. Uh, paste. It's like that paste. And then, then I hairspray it and do that extra. Hairspray. Hairspray. Yeah, I hairspray <laughs> the fuck out of my hair. <laughs> Hairspray in your hair? Yeah. I put Gorilla Snot in my hair. What's Gorilla Snot? Bro, like people who would do spiked hair, they use that to really? get their hair to spike. Yeah, I put it like on my edges. So is gel not cool anymore? Like, I used to gel my hair back in the day. I mean, maybe for Caucasian hair. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> not, not mine. It's not going to stay. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I have to use, well... My hair, I mean, some people can use, like, different kinds of gels. But my hair, like, if it has, like, a high water content, it'll just curl up instead of, like, lay down. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Use Gorilla Snot that dries dry. Who are your favorite YouTubers, like, right now, since we're on the subject of YouTube? YouTube. Hmm. Like, are you into, like, the makeup ones, like, my wife, like, Ashley? Like, she's just all about the makeup Or, like, Jack and Hill and all of those people. (laughs) I mean, okay. Well, right now, I used to cannot stand, uh, what's his name? Uh, is it James Charles? Ugh. James Charles? <laughs> I used to hate him, but now I really like him. It's usually how it goes, where you're like, you hate guy, and then you start watching his videos, and you're like, all right, now I kind of like yeah, you. I kind of like James Charles now. And then Jeffree Star, even though as controversial as he is, I love him, like... I just love him. He's done a little 180, apparently. Yeah. I mean, I even liked it when people didn't like him. I was really? like, I mean, I, don't, <laughs> I, I like Jeffree Star. 
even when he was going through the whole racist thing and everybody was putting out videos saying that you shouldn't watch jeffree star and i'm not buying his products but that lip <laughs> he's got i don't care <laughs> <laughs> That lip stuff. Keep making the lip stuff. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> He's got some good products. And um, who else do I like? Shane Dawson. Well, right now, Shane. What's going on with Shane? <laughs> What's going on with Shane Dawson? I, know, I like his um, his series that he does. Like, like the, the documentary with, with series? Jeffree Star. And um, he did uh, Graveyard Girl. But this, uh, who was the guy he just did? Um Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Ugh, I hate it. It's like six parts. The first three episodes are just him talking to other people. I'm like, <laughs> can we get into Jake Paul? Like, I want to know what he's got going on. They said he was a psychopath. And I'm like, well, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I didn't even finish watching it. I was like, this is too much. So I'm just going to binge watch it. And each episode is like 45 minutes long. You know who Jake Paul is, though, right? Yeah, he like... was on Disney Channel. He was on Bizarre Vark. I watched what? that show. I did not know that. <laughs> See, I only know Jake Paul through Logan Paul, his brother. Yeah. And Logan they were on Paul. Vine or something like back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah. They were in Vine and, and then they went to YouTube and then they got huge in YouTube and then Logan Paul got in trouble with the whole like suicide, suicide forest, forest, forest thing. thing. Yeah. And then and then he had that fucking boxing match with uh God, what's his name? I forget his name. But he had a boxing match with another YouTuber. It was huge. It was a huge thing and they made tons of money. Did, it was, he, did, yeah. he, did they actually fight? Yeah, they straight up fought each other in a boxing ring. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. I didn't see it. Well, I know. I heard about it, but I didn't see it. Who won? Did anybody win? Uh, no, actually, it was it was labeled a draw, which is really rare. That like hardly ever happens in sporting events. So people think it was kind of a kind of uh, what's the word? There's a word for it, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, they thought it was rigged. Hmm. But so because, you know, then they'll have a rematch and then they'll make some more money, perhaps actually get it on like fucking, you know, Showtime or something. Really? I don't know. That that would be my guess to see because it, it it was so popular on on YouTube and it got, I don't know how many streams, I'll, uh, just a, a, a ton of hmm. a whole lot of people watch that stupid boxing match between well, two next YouTubers. Time I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> if it comes back on. I will say, though, I will say, though, it was really impressive because they actually it's sh- it, cuz i watched combat sports and it yeah. really did sh- it, it they really did put in some training they definitely at least logan paul who was the other guy i can't remember what his name is hang on let me let me find it what was his name uh logan paul versus ksi ksi what, he's from Br- he's british oh british <laughs> i think he's british <laughs> i'm pretty sure he's british I'm pretty positive. But what's his like claim to fame? Like, what I don't, is, I don't fucking know. Some random, <laughs> random guy. Some random guy. <laughs> Logan Paul is like, I choose you, random guy. Speaking of British people that don't know Miss Osmond, oh god, here, <laughs> is she's half British? Yes, I am. Do you ever get to travel to London? No, I've never been out of the country, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, my dad's like, he, the reason we have not been is because my dad is like, maybe I shouldn't say this on air. <laughs> I might get my dad deported. <laughs> but no, he has a green card. It's just that we have such a trouble trying to get him a new passport. So uh, if he leaves, he might not be able to come back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's tried so hard to like, he has to do it like through like the British embassy or something. I don't know. I might have just made that up. But there's <laughs> something going on with his passport. But his sister has a passport and she travels all the time. So why is it hard for him? Beats me. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I think your dad... I've, I've met your dad, what, twice? Yeah. And we, we make fun of how he says banana. Banana. <laughs> banana. Can I have a banana can you do a, can you, you, you can, can you do a London accent pretty easily because your dad's British? Oh, uh, yeah. I can <laughs> switch in and out of it. Like, without knowing sometimes. <laughs> I didn't know. When I was growing up, my, like, if he would come on field trips with me, and people would be like, I love your dad's accent. And I'm like, what accent are you talking about? Because I guess me growing up with it, I couldn't hear it. I hear mm-hmm. it now, but <laughs> I never heard his accent. I'm like, he doesn't have an accent. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> but he has an accent. He does. He does have an accent. But it's not strong, though. Yeah, it, it kind of goes in and out. Yeah. How long is... Wait, so you... How long has your father lived here, well, he like moved in the states? From when he was thirteen. 
So he's uh, been gone a long time. Yeah, so he's he's been Americanized. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he still can't say banana. No. He says he says half. Uh, he like half. He says half. But I don't know. He says some stuff in a British accent, but Does he say herb or herb? No, he probably says herb. <laughs> or herb. Herb. No, he says herb. No. One time, because his sister has an accent, but he doesn't. So we were, I don't know what we were doing or why we were together, but we were walking to Applebee's. And I was like, how do you say, how do you guys say laboratory? My dad screws it up and goes, laboratory. And my aunt goes, laboratory. And I'm like. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you're supposed to say it in the English way. Right. But my dad screws it up because he. he he does stuff like that on purpose. Come over here. We're going to go into my laboratory. Yeah. And look at these herbs. They say herb. Well, you're really good at your accent. You can switch it out. <laughs> you can do a lot of accents. I can, I can, I can sort of do accents. Yes. The one, th- one accent I have really, I have a lot of trouble with is the Australian accent. That, that fucking accent is really hard. <laughs> well, you can you just say rise of blades. Rise of blades. <laughs> rise of blades. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried like I've I've tried to do an Australian accent. I'm like obsessed with that, like Australia in general. So, <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. no. that's right. They go, they, no. they don't say no. They go no. Yeah, it's like it. There's like a R, R and a o. W in there. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I do it all the time. I found myself doing it way more than I should. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! I just thought of something. Like when I talk to people with accents, I'm like, "Please, Chelsea, do not talk." Back. Oh, I do the same accent. thing. <laughs> I totally do the same thing. I like. I, I call myself. Or like, I was like, I'm like a mimicker. Like if whoever I'm with, if I, if I'm with someone who has a really strong Southern accent, then mm-hmm. I start pulling out the Southern. I do the accent same thing. For no reason. Yes, when I was younger, and we would go to like Wisconsin and like be with my aunts and stuff, or my cousin Julia. They come over, and um, like. I'll be around them so long, and I'll, like, start picking up the way they say stuff. I'm like, God, I've got a British accent now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do that. Uh, dude, um, this, is, this is really funny. When it, Back in when I was in Five Knives, and I was touring a lot, and uh, I was in L.A. with um, another band that was on the label, and I can't, it's for the life of me, remember the band's name, but they were really nice dudes, and we were out part. It was like a big label party with all the bands, and... Uh, we were, you know, a lot of drinking and whatnot. My parents were there. And uh, what? So, yeah, my parents were there. It's hilarious. Um, but I'm sitting here, I'm ta- hanging out with this group of British people. And eventually over time, because I'm drinking, the, the drinks are flowing and now I'm way buzzed. And then I'm <laughs> all of a sudden start talking in a British accent to them. To them. What did they like, say? <laughs> I, I, unbeknownst to me, unbeknownst to me, I, I was doing it. And Nathan, the guy in my band, like turned to me. He's like, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> I was like, what do you think I'm doing? I'm having fun with my new friends. And yeah, I didn't say that. Shane. But yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> they didn't say anything because they were really nice guys. But I was like, I thought, I think back to that moment. I was like, God, you fucking idiot. Yeah. You idiot. <laughs> I try so hard not to do that. I'm like, oh my God, these people are going to be so mad if I start talking in an accent. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to like overly American my act like I'm like overly American Hi. now. <laughs> How are you doing today? Fantastic. And then I'm like, they probably think I sound like an idiot. Like I feel like when I talk to British people that like how do I talk? Like how do I sound to them? I probably sound dumb to them. Because <laughs> British people are like so So uh, well it's yeah. they have what I like to call accent, what's, there was another word for it. They, they, people with English accents appear smarter than they really are. Yeah. It's because they or say they laboratory just, instead of <laughs> laboratory. <laughs> but no, they, um, they, I don't know. I used to describe their accent as like a happy accent. Like, I don't know why when I was little. They don't always sound happy, they right? They sound really happy. Yeah, they always And they do. just sound like really proper and like they have so much etiquette and like they wear like hankies in in <laughs> lace like everyone's a queen <laughs> do you watch downton abbey no okay <laughs> neither do i but i had friends who fucking loved that show and i and i was i would like watch previews of that show i'm like 
It's just British people going, hello. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just like drinking tea. I'm like, how is this? How is this entertaining to American audiences? This is everybody wants to be British. Everyone wants to be British, but hey, funny fact about the the British or Southern accent rather, because we're in the South technically. And I read this a while back: is that the Southern accent, the what, like, hey man, how you doing? Blue, 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 blue. You know that accent is actually derived from the British Cockney accent. Oh God. Yeah. Your grandfather. Oh God! Let's yes. shoot. You told me this, and I was like, "That's freaking crazy!" Because I listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, and he talks about psychedelics all the time. And your grandfather actually invented the term psychedelic, yes. Mister Humphrey Doctor Humphrey Osmond. Yeah, and it's very cool. Like he died in two thousand four. Did you obviously? Did you like get to see him and stuff? No. Well, maybe. I mean, how old was I in 2004? How old were you in 2004? You're 22. <laughs> you're my like youngest friend <laughs> that uh, I actually can have a conversation with. Uh, how old was I in 2004? Like six. Do you remember him at all? Not really. Not really? Maybe because they lived in Tuscaloosa when I was little. So I'm, I remember like him sitting in a chair. Maybe I should have brought some photos. But he used to sit in this like red chair. I remember that. But he was like really old by then and had like Alzheimer's. So no. Oh. Well, uh, <clears throat> Humphrey Fortescue. Fortescue, very British name. Yeah, that's my dad's middle name too. <laughs> that's Fortescue. That's awesome. Uh, he was an English psychiatrist who exp- uh, who uh, is known for inventing the word psychedelic and for his research into interesting and useful applications for psychedelic drugs. Osman also explored aspects of psychology of social environments, in particular how they influenced welfare or recovery in mental institutions. Mm-hmm. That is really, and, and I read this. This is really cool. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Uh, Osmond and and Abram Hoffer were taught a way to maximize the LSD experience by the influential layman Ale. Al Hubbard. Oh, yeah, those names. Yeah. <laughs> those wow. names. We're just getting into it right now. Um, Osmond is also known for a study in the late 1950s in which he attempted to cure alcoholics with a- LSD. He claimed to have achieved 50% success rate. Osmond noticed that some drinkers were able to give up their drinking after an episode of delirium tremens, which is a rapid onset of confusion usually caused by withdrawal from alcohol. And tried to rep- uh, replicate the state in patients through giving them high doses of the drug. That's pretty damn cool. Because, and you know why it's cool is because um, psychiatrists now and today are reintroducing yeah, LSD. Her, that's and why, sci- yeah, and that's sci- why we're going to New York. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Or, I mean, wherever they're doing like a book or something, like on that research. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to New York for that. I guess so we can he can have like family members at his little that's so cool thing yeah 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 the, and I'm funny. sorry that like that because it's your family and I know it's weird but like I listen to a podcast where <laughs> like literally there'd be a whole podcast where he talks to to scientists who are literally taught and, and researching this stuff like mm-hmm. today yeah. and they're they're finding great success in like curing depression and anxiety and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder from you know, people coming in back from war and seeing some really crazy shit. And then they'll, they'll take like either, uh, you know, they'll be in a clinical <clears throat> setting where they'll give them small doses of uh, like MDMA and then have a psychiatrist there to talk them through their problems and stuff. And they're having great success in, in helping people deal with horrible shit that's happened to them in yep. their past, which is pretty freaking cool. I know. And then he, he, the guy who invented it, invented it in an accident. He like yeah. was trying to do something else and took it and then tripped out and was like, <laughs> "This is gonna work with something out." Like, <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> something just happened to me. I flew into myself and then my ego was destroyed. <laughs> I am not me anymore. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> you fly into LSD, but no, that's, that's but like, like it's interesting because. 
um, science, like I said today, like scientists today are 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 uh, uh, publishing more studies around this stuff. And here's another from here's another article from like Business Insider. It's like the first published in the journal Frontiers in Psychopharmacology found that the quality of the psych- psychedelic trip was directly linked with how much someone's depressive symptoms decreased. In other words, the more connected someone felt during an immediately, uh, I'm sorry. The, in other words, the more connected someone felt during and immediately after the trip, the longer those feelings lasted and the less depressed they felt. That said, a high-quality trip should not be confused with quote-unquote good or bad feelings since some highly therapeutic trips can involve a fair amount of anxiety, <laughs> which is quite true if you've ever done any of that things, which I certainly have not. That is... I don't need any of that. <laughs> I'm, com- I'm pl- completely clean. Not not really, but you don't need to know that. All right. But yeah, I thought that was super cool. That is a super cool thing about your of your family. Yeah. I talk about it a lot. <laughs> you talk about it a lot. <laughs> and I always like, when I mention they're like, are you going into like the psych? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Uh, no. What what are you going to school him. for? Because you are going to school. You're going to you're going to Vanderbilt. I'm not going to Vanderbilt. I thought you were going to Vanderbilt. No, I go to National State. <laughs> Who told me you're going to Vanderbilt? I don't know. I think your mom told me you're going to Vanderbilt. Did she really? I think so. Or you were trying to go to Vanderbilt? No, UT. UT, University of Tennessee. Knoxville. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe that, I got confused. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I, um, I'm in hospitality management and tourism. What made you want to get into that? Because I want to be an event planner. Oh. Mm-hmm. Just like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to hang out. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys freaking... Like, what, um, so you want to be an event player. What made you want to become an event player? You're just like at a party one day, like, fuck, I can do this. No. So, no. okay. uh, remember the show on MTV called My Super Sweet 16? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, that's what you want to do? That's what I wanted to do. I was like, I want to plan these parties. And then, like, when I got a little older, I was like, I was watching, uh, was it MTV? One of those award shows. And I was like, who plans this stuff? Like, someone has to put this stuff together. So, then I was like, I want to plan award shows. Yeah. Hell, Yeah. That's that's some lofty goals right there. <laughs> yep, I'm working on it. But so in this in this class, are you learning a lot? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to name names. I'm not Chels. gonna name any names, <laughs> but I mean, no. Last semester was was good. I've uh, learned a bunch about like conventions and company stuff, and now. Well, the program seems to be focusing more on, like, hotel stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but I don't want to work in a hotel. <laughs> you can make some bank, though, working in a hotel. But they want us to do, like, banquets. and I mean, well, which well, is so an yeah, event, but yeah. I'm thinking bigger stuff yeah. than what they're trying to teach me. Well, I'll think of it as an experience, you know, and then you got to get your hands dirty and dealing with, you know, stupid hotel banquet people like thinking you know see the thing i wouldn't i would hate to be a, an event planner because number one i'm terribly unorganized <laughs> i just like all of this like this right here my wife i couldn't even do this <clears throat> that's nothing though i know <laughs> just right? all facing I know. you know what drives me insane when people like when vending machines when the labels aren't turned like the right way oh yeah you had one job <laughs> So are you like nitpicky? <laughs> yeah, but I'm a mess though. <laughs> like when it, but when it comes to my event stuff, I'm like I have to have everything together. Like I have my little iPad and I put all my pictures and I screenshot stuff and I have everything together. So you're you want to be in like the creative realm of the party? Yeah. You don't want to be in like the organization. You will be the the artiste of it. You you're the one that goes in and goes, mm, no, this is not going to work. This needs to go over here. And what is that? Please take this out <laughs> of the room yeah. before I fire everybody on the staff. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and if you show up late, we don't even need you. We've already replaced you. <laughs> Get out. You're going to be like, what was that? Uh, what's that movie, Devil Wears Prada? What's her name? I forget her name. The, Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep, but she but plays... But she was uh, the... Miranda? No. Her name was Miranda. I just was watched Miranda? this. Yeah. yeah. 
but she was supposed to like she's it modeled after a real person oh the, anna winter yes yeah so she's like super hardcore yeah but she doesn't like anna winter doesn't even talk have you ever heard her talk no. she just sits there and everyone's scared of her <laughs> that's how i want to be <laughs> you just don't even need to walk you just come in like on a, i'm like, like, like she's a, here and everyone <laughs> just starts scattering <laughs> <laughs> like you don't even like you have handlers like you have guys like holding you up everywhere you go i can walk oh <laughs> okay but like i'm gonna be one of those like you don't want to ask me a question twice you want to listen <laughs> <laughs> i like that yeah i like that a lot that's that's cool <laughs> uh but yeah like uh, yeah you might have to get your hands dirty though to get to that yeah, I'm looking for an internship. Where are you looking for an internship? Oh, anywhere, anywhere in particular? No. no. I really know. You know what? Yeah. So there's this place called Destination Nashville, and they do, like, themed stuff. And I'm really into, like, themed events. So, like, for my last year's birthday, well, for this year's birthday, I had a tea party. And the year before that, I had a Arabian's night party. But there's stuff. Like, if you were going on their website, their stuff is crazy. They can do anything really yeah <laughs> so i was like i really want to intern for them or what was it again destination nashville destination nashville yeah and they do really good stuff really mm-hmm. we had last year actually in my was it my convention management class we had a girl um come over and be like a guest speaker and stuff from from there mm-hmm. that's pretty cool my name was dana patel i think yeah mm-hmm. So, would you ever want to do, like, weddings and stuff, or... Yeah, maybe. Or are you not interested in that stuff? You oh, just I mean, want like, to plan if I had, like, if I had to, I, I mean, I wouldn't be, like, upset about it. I'd, <laughs> I'd do it. But, like, dealing with brides... Oh, yeah. I but, mean, I mean, then it's the makeup and the hair situation. Like, I could get that under... Like, you know, I got a lot of connections, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> if you need a makeup artist, a hair person, I got you. <laughs> And then I got, you know, all the other event stuff, like the ceremony and the decorations. So do you walk into a location and do you immediately start like looking around and go, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't put that there. I would put that over there. This needs to, you know, the, the feng shui is off. Are you that yeah. kind of person? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially if it's like if the events have worked and if stuff don't look right to me. Even though that's the event planner thing. I'm not yeah, going to come in and like start moving stuff. But I'm like, you should have put that over there. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you learn. You learn from their mistakes. You yeah. go, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's, that's, I th- I think you'd be pretty good at it. Honestly. Man, it's just so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sh- sh- show me some of your, your, your Pinterest board. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a Pinterest board for every event I've ever done. I did my mom's, what year? I think it was their 30th, 4th? No, it had to be their 30th anniversary or something. One of them. Your parents are still married, by the way, yes, which is they impressive. Are. Yes. They've Not been a lot married of people's for, parents are married. I? I'm 22. They've been married for 22 years, but they were together 10 years before that. So 32. And it's been two years since that. So yeah, it was their 30th anniversary. And they seem to be a very happy couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to have fun. Yeah. You know, at least. <laughs> they I mean, I'm gonna call my parents old, but <laughs> they've gotten to that old couple stage where they just go home and go to bed. Oh, well, I'm already there. <laughs> me and me and Ash, we just love to just <laughs> be at home and watch Netflix and just chill. Yeah. Make some dinner. Maybe that's just how people are nowadays. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's 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 when you get older because especially when you have a job and you're working, you know, when you work 8 hours and you're just kind of like oh, I, don't, I don't have the energy to go out. Tell me about it. <laughs> and I don't you don't have the money either. Yeah. It's like you, you let's go when I first moved here going downtown was fun because no one was no, not a whole bunch of people went downtown, especially during the weekdays, you know. On the weekdays you would go downtown to like the whiskey kitchen or something around there and you just hang out with your buddies and it wouldn't be a big deal but now it, it doesn't matter what day you go down there yeah, it's like it's, it's always it's, tourists it's, everywhere and, and, and a new <laughs> building's being put up i'm like what uh, is this yeah i can't wait till like everything's built and we're done <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no if it's anything lo- if, if, if they want to model it anything like las vegas it's never going to be done Ugh. ever they're just going to keep building I've only lived here for what ten years now. 
We yeah, that's right. You're you're actually from uh, right. You, you originally are from New Orleans, mm-hmm. correct? And yeah, okay, so let me ask you a question what? about New Orleans. Oh God, is there a way to say New Orleans correct? It's not New Orleans, but people <laughs> say it. it's so stupid. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. I mean, I guess people from New Orleans do link it, but it's just New Orleans, like New Orleans, New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, but I guess it is like New Orleans, New Orleans. Mm. Yeah. And by the way, it's Nevada and not Nevada. It's Idiots. Nevada. <laughs> I mean, technically, maybe it might mean Nevada, but no one in Vegas says Nevada. Everyone Do they says even say Nevada. Nevada? Yes. Oh, okay. They go Las Vegas, Nevada. That's it. Nevada. There's, and then, uh, the people who don't use it usually live there they go you know uh, i was in uh you know uh, uh carson city nevada and i was like it's nevada it's nevada, <laughs> it's nevada. <laughs> it's nevada. i'm gonna kill you <laughs> um anyway uh you moved here because of katrina uh, yes. hurricane were you let were you guys like in the hurricane no, God, or no. did you guys evacuate we left. we left the day before like if we, wow, we you guys just, are cutting it yeah, close. Yeah, we were cutting it real close. My mom was like, we're staying. We're not going nowhere. My dad's like, you guys got to get out of here. Like, I was in bed sleep that morning. I'm thinking I'm going to get up the next morning and go to school. No, I was wrong. <laughs> like, I had my bags packed for school and everything. Like, I was ready to go to school the next morning. Wow, that's crazy. No. <laughs> so, were you guys just, like, watching the news and everyone was like, everyone needs to get the yeah. fuck out now? Yeah. We, um, we've been through so many hurricanes before that and we would just board the house up, you know, You guys, like, board out. the house up? Yeah, we put, like, we get plywood and board the windows and stuff and doors. That's crazy. Just hang out inside <laughs> and hope for the best. <laughs> what is that saying? Uh, put your tail between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. Just... Just what do you even do? Do you guys just like huddle in the bathroom or in the basement no, or something? No, we just hang out in the house. Really? Yeah. That's and crazy. the lights would be out, but... I guess yeah. that would make sense because like when I... I talk to friends who don't live in parts where there is tornadoes. You know, I talk to people on the West Coast sometimes and they go, I can't believe you live in a place where there's tornadoes and stuff. I'm yeah, like, eh. that's why I felt when I moved out of New Orleans. I was like, what is a tornado? <laughs> I also left New Orleans when I was nine, so I had no clue that there was any other tropical depression than Eric. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So you guys just like packed up and did you like have time to pack up your stuff or you, no, just, we, you just went and left? We had, we first of all, we had a house full of animals. So we had a snake, a turtle, a rat, and two cats. Well, no, we had one cat. One of our cats had died like prior to that. But, and then we had a dog. So we took the dog. We left the cats because we're thinking, oh, they'll be fine. So they can survive. Uh, yeah. And then the snake and everything. We left them and uh, my mom like put extra food out and just like we would do any other time if we were leaving. Yeah. Put extra food out. Nope. Didn't come back. I wanted to bring my cat so bad. Aww. It was so sad. Like all the pictures of our house being like it's destroyed and the water. Was it really destroyed? Yeah. Like really bad? Yeah. It That's- was flooded. I don't even know how many, how much feet of water was in it. But That's crazy. There's like watermarks in the house. And even if you go back to my street today, like when they, when I guess, I don't know who went and raided the houses to see if anybody was in the houses or if there was anybody alive or whatever, they would write the numbers on the outside of the house. The spray paint is still on the outside of my house. No way. Mm-hmm. Even to this day? Even to this day. Wow. Yeah. So like what, I, what happens like, cause you, did you guys own or rent? We owned you, it. You owned it? Yeah, yeah we yeah, sold so, it. Oh, okay. And they, the people, I guess we, well, I guess whoever we sold it to like came in and gutted it out and redid it it doesn't even look the same on the inside anymore oh okay yeah it's weird arch doors i'm like what is this there's that event planner and then, like in all you. of my <laughs> <laughs> He's like all nope no <laughs> get those get those arch doors out of here <laughs> like archways and then like all of the trees like we had this really big magnolia tree in our front yard i used to climb when i was little it's gone Wow. This other tree is gone. It doesn't even look the same. That's crazy. We had a big bush, like shrub, shrub in the front of the house. We had to, like, you know how you used to cut them. Yeah. It's gone. Everything, Aww. all of the vegetation's gone. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. Could you imagine if you guys stayed? Do you think about that ever? Just yeah. Just like, man, what if we stayed? Some of my, well, one of my friends did stay, and, like, they couldn't find her. Like, they couldn't find her and her sister, and her parents went on Dr. Phil trying to find them. What? Yeah. I remember all of this back when I was young. Mm-hmm. Dude. Yeah. I need to find that. Find yeah. it on the, on the, on the U-Tube. <laughs> the U-Tube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Dude. For a nine-year-old going to that, it was hard. 
Hell yeah. yeah. And still to this day, I have like anxiety to... over stuff like that. Like, do you get anxiety when it's like tornadoes? I mean, no, but I'm like scared of the dark and like I'm, I just have like issues from <laughs> like Hurricane Katrina, like leaving my friends and starting over. I'm like used to starting over and like now I'm settled and I'm like, I want to leave so I can start over again. And now I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm old enough to just leave, but yeah, I guess yeah. you could. But then you'd have to. Where would you go? Yeah. Then I have the anxiety of leaving my friends that I have now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where would you, where would you go? Like if you could choose, there is any place in the world that you could go like right now, where would you go? Back to New Orleans. Really? Yeah. (laughs) Right on. Mm -hmm. Cause all my friends are there and we're still really close. Cool. Mm -hmm. Make a life out there. I figured something out. (laughs) 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 They have people do events there. They do, and it's a it's still a popular tourist attraction. It looks like Hurricane Katrina hit it. <laughs> Does it still like? Yeah, it looks so post apocalyptic. Like it's so crazy that that they still are are feeling the effects of and that. It's been like what twelve years now. Yeah, yeah. So that means yeah, you were here when the flood happened. The Tennessee yeah, my mom's freaking like, flood. The floods are following us. <laughs> the the floods. <laughs> that was because when you we uh, Hurricane Katrina happened. Not that was, long before the Nashville yeah, big that one was in flood. what two thousand and ten, and Hurricane Katrina was in two thousand and five, six. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. No, my mom was like, "Oh my god." Where were you when that happened? Were you at guys at home? Yeah, we were mm-hmm. at home. But my house, my mom's like, "We're not getting taken by no floods no more. <laughs> We're built up on a hill." Yeah, you guys are on the hill. That's yeah, right. And she was like, "The only thing that's gonna take us out is a, it's a tornado, I guess." But she was like, "Floods ain't happening." <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, tornadoes actually, they go for uh, not hilly areas, but they go for like, uh, well, I might be wrong on this. This might be bro science, but if I remember, <laughs> bro science. <laughs> if I remember correctly, they go for flat areas. They only survive on flat areas. Well, then we're not going to get taken out by a tornado either. <laughs> yeah, so. Maybe a, like a forest fire because there's like woods behind us. But other than that, we got insurance on everything. <laughs> yeah, we got flood insurance. We got lightning insurance. We got all the insurance yeah, you can get. We got, in, we got insurance for insurance. Yeah, our insurance is insured. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're man. not playing no games. Yeah, I remember that flood, man. That flood was so fucking crazy because I never, I never done that. Has never. Because in Vegas we don't have rain. We don't know what rain is. It's just hot. All the fucking time. It gets kind of cooler in the winter. It because it's just there's no humidity, so there's no where wear the, whatever you want. Yeah, well, it, it gets blindingly hot, so you're not going to be wearing any long sleeves when it's like 125 degrees out in oh, yeah. the middle of the summer. But um, so when I first moved here, number one, tornadoes scare the shit out of me, <laughs> and so I'm like, fucking hope. And every time there was a tornado warning, I'm like, just like. <laughs> What are, we, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, we gotta we gotta board the house. We gotta we gotta get to the the, the smallest space. Get out of the bathroom and you know like hide in the bathtub and shit. Um, <laughs> get in the bathtub. Shane. So <laughs> we do here. We do when there's a tornado warning or whatever. We or tornado. Yeah, you have a room with no windows. We hit that bathroom. Hmm. That our one bathroom. Yeah, we just go and huddle in there. And we I pull out my phone and like look up the you know the on always- the internet grab a charger when the hurt the tornado I need to start doing warning. that because i'm like if my phone dies i'm screwed <laughs> well odds are I charge you, everything odds are yeah that's true well anyway i'm back to the flood um <laughs> so i i've lived I, I moved here in 2005 and the flood happened like 2010 like right? five years after that yeah yeah so I think I, feel, I got a, a good feel of the weather now. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm good. I got the tornadoes, whatever. I got a, I got a basement. I'm cool, whatever. Yeah. And so it started raining, and I'm like, man, it's just, it's really raining. It's, it's raining Wait, a lot. Y'all's basement flood. Let me, let me. So <laughs> I'm uh, me and my now wife, then girlfriend <clears throat> Ashley. We would live. We lived in the basement there was a room there that we lived in and the the, the house was a you know the, that that area was that was where we lived in the room next to us was our rehearsal room this is the band house we all lived yeah. there and you know it's where where the band would practice and 
you know, I'm upstairs during all this this rain. And it's just rain. It wasn't even storming. It was just mm. raining. That it was, was, it was just for like days. rain yeah. for days. And so I'm upstairs playing video games. And Ash is on the... <laughs> Ash is <laughs> watching TV downstairs or something. She was doing something downstairs. And all of a sudden, I hear Ashley go, Baby! <laughs> and I go, what? what? What's going on? She goes, The basement's flooding! <laughs> There's water coming through the walls! <laughs> the walls? Yes! Not through, like, the walls, like, in, like, The Shining, but, like, through the floor. <laughs> like, like, the like, floorboards, the, yeah, yeah. the floorboards. <laughs> and so I'm like, what? She's, no, I'm, I'm thinking she's crazy, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, let's go down there, you know? There's no way. Uh, it's just a little bit of water or whatever. And I go down there, and sure enough, it is just, it's coming out of the walls. Just, it's, like, as if someone had just poured just a vat of water into the, into the, into the room. Oh, it's my It's crazy. Goodness. And I'm sitting here, like... The only thing I could think of is like, there's a bunch of electronic equipment down here. And so, so grab it all? Oh, I, I, I picked up all the electronics that was on the floor. Um, I had to, we, like me and I forget who else was living there at the time. It was me and she, and, and, and Ash was like picking up heavy equipment, trying to get all the music equipment upstairs Yeah. because like, fuck, we don't know if this is ever going to stop. So I get all the equipment up upstairs and it's like heavy drums and, and amps and guitars. Yeah, stuff's and expensive though. This stuff's really expensive. So I'm, I'm doing my best to like get all the equipment up there. And then, um, my thought, so like, I was like, okay, how do I stop the water from coming out? So I grabbed as much towels and blankets and all the stuff I could find to like, try to stop it. Try to like, put a dam up, if you will. Did it work? N- no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, like it helped, it stopped it a little bit. And so what we would have, what we would do is we would soak up the water as much as we could and t- take the wet towels and put them in the dryer. And then put them back? Yeah. And then put them back. And then it, and we did that until it stopped, which it never did. It just like... So what did y'all have to do? We just waited. For it to just drain out? Yeah. We just... We were like, fuck. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> and yeah. So... And then the next day... Yeah. Finally, it receded. And yeah. Poor Yuli, the guy who owned the uh, place, had to like rip up the carpets mm-hmm. and had like have uh, fans going all over there to, pre- to prevent mold and stuff and... That was, I've never went through any of that. That was crazy. Yeah. I was like, what if it keeps going? Yeah, what, what if, if it, we have gone did the, the whole house, did the whole house gut it out? Oh, and I totally forgot about this. Okay, <laughs> so while all of this is happening, my car is in the shop. My truck that, I, that, I, that you see me drive, that truck was in the shop in Franklin. And Franklin was, was, pretty, hit, uh, was hit pretty big. That um, dealership that was in got flooded. Your truck. And, yeah, my truck. And so, like, I have no, like, my truck, I'm thinking my trunk is gone, like, flooded, yeah. gone, because I was watching the news, the Franklin News, and it just, like, showed, like, the reporter, like, uh, waist deep in water, and he was just saying, you know, the, the it, as you can see, it's getting really, really bad out here, and uh, you gotta be careful, and you see people, you know, rafting, like, right behind him, <laughs> like, yeah, like, searching for people. You know, I'm like, oh, my truck is gone. And eventually the guy called me and he's like, and I'm sitting here hoping that it's because I, my car was insured. So I was like, yeah. man, if it's, if it's, I get a new car. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I'm like, this is great. And he calls me up and he's, and he says, hi, Shaina. Of course, he's very Southern because all mechanics are Southern. Uh, hi, Shaina. We, we saved your truck. We saved as many cars as we could. And uh, just letting you know that your car is fine. And. You're like, God damn it. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, like that was, that, that was so crazy for them. Think about it. Cause they're just doing their job, you know, whatever. And <laughs> they have to move all of the cars. How did they do of, that? I don't know. I have no idea. Did they get one of those scary car trucks? Maybe. I don't know how <laughs> they did things. it. I, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Mm. It was, uh, Man. You still have that truck. I still have that truck. I, that truck. I bought that truck. It's a 2003. I bought it in 2005. And it is now 2018. <laughs> and it's still going. It overheats a little bit. I have to figure out why it's overheating. But other than that, truck runs great. 
You're gonna drive it so the wheel, wheels fall off. Uh, uh, it's paid off. So yeah. I think I'm going to drive that thing until it bursts into flames. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> but I think my next car I want is a Kia Soul. I've been talking about it for a while. Don't you look at me like that. Don't do it. <laughs> I drive a cube, okay? <laughs> so you do not know how many jokes I've heard. I hate my But the cube looks car. a little weird. The Kia Soul is just like it. But the Kia Soul looks a little little sporty. It kind of looks like the Scion. I wanted a Scion, too. Well, okay. The cube looks like... See, it's it's too boxy. They went overboard. Well, it's like... It's cubey. Like, it's yeah. not like... Because the Scion's pretty... Yeah, well, the first iteration of the Scion is, like, really boxy. Yeah. My, my friend Zach had a... I used a, to think my car was so cute, though. I mean, it fuck people. Who cares? <laughs> you know, like, my car's cute. Shut up. <laughs> no? <laughs> I mean, it was cute when I was 16, but now it's like, you drive a mailbox. <laughs> you drive... Like, I've heard so many things. You've heard... You drive a mail truck. You drive... A mail truck. What else have I heard? An envelope. I don't know. I'm just like, envelope. an envelope. <laughs> I've heard so many things. And I just get so scared. Like, I'm, like, talking to, like, a new friend or something. And I, like, want to hang out. I drive. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to talk about my car. <laughs> <laughs> is it at least roomy? It is. And it's and it's the, it's the chrome edition. So, oh. I have a chrome, like, what's that? The rims, I guess. Yeah. And then I have lights on the inside. So, Ooh, like, they, like, flash fancy. and stuff. And then the ceiling has, like, this ripple thing. And it has a shag carpet. So, it's supposed to be, like, whatever year inspired. 80s? 80s? Right? Something. 70s? 70s. 80s. Shag carpet was 70s. Yeah. That was, and that they don't was, even make it anymore. That was when people were doing a lot of uh, LSD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, this carpet isn't good enough. We need it to be a little bit more shaggy. Yeah, because it does, I guess, it with the, the trip. It helps with that. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if the guy who invented shad carpet was like he had a really bad trip or like really good trip, and he was just like, oh, <laughs> carpet has waves. And then he went out of the trip, and he's like, I swear the carpet had waves. You know what? I'm gonna put waves in this carpet, and yeah. then he invented it. Probably what happened. <laughs> Whoever did the cube probably was on it too, because the ceiling has like this water droplet. Like, effect thing like really? it like you know like when does you it have a dry- lava lamp too it should <laughs> <laughs> i'm afraid i don't have like little tassels in my windows yeah but i wanted a kia soul yeah i think i think i saw a really cool looking one it was like kind of modified but he had black rims and it was i don't think it was matte black because i don't think car it it really depends on the car to get a matte <laughs> black finish yeah because yeah, sometimes some cars ugh, yeah. with that g-wagon yeah g-wagon you hear all about that g-wagon <laughs> g-wagon you can do any color you want you can do camouflage if you want it and it still looks good man how much is a g-wagon again it's like eighty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand oh. <laughs> remember when we had that conversation we were like if you had a million dollars yeah what was the what was the first thing that you would get a g-wagon a g-wagon <laughs> well <laughs> Would you get a G-Wagon or would you get a, a nice house? A house, because I have a car. You do have a car. You'd get a house. Would you buy it just straight up? Do I only get a million? Yes, a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you got a million I need to dollars. invest it in something so I can make more. You could. Yeah. You can make, you can make your own event planning business. Uh, no. Because I want a lot of stuff. Like, I want to have a restaurant. I want to have a beauty salon. So, a million dollars is not enough money for all the stuff I want. I want a rental company. I don't know. You could probably... Well, yeah. From all the stuff, you'd have to pick one. If you could pick one... And which, then I would make money off of in- that. Um, hmm. Should you do a restaurant? Yeah. It'd be really tough. I know. Because all this stuff would make money, but which one would make the most? Missed the question. Restaurants don't typically make money. <laughs> I think a beauty salon would. You could probably you do have a beauty to get salon. Your hair done. But yeah. I want it to be like a nail shop, a beauty salon, and a, like a makeup thing. And massage parlor it, too? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and I want it to be called Glam Squads. Glam Squads? Mm-hmm. TM. She's Don't you dare take it. <laughs> TM. It's, it's been trademarked. <laughs> Officially on this podcast can be used in a court of law. Don't you dare take it. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's even true. Maybe I should go. Maybe I should go trademark that now. <laughs> yeah. If you could, and yeah, I want like, a nightclub. A night. That's right. You you said yeah. you wanted a nightclub. I wanted to where would you themed. where would you do the nightclub? Would you do it here in Nashville or would you do it in New Orleans? Because at that at that point, if you have a million dollars, you could travel. You could. Do set they up franchise there. nightclubs? Yeah, I'd imagine. I'm never. You'd heard. have to have a really successful nightclub. But like, if I had like one, like a trademark of nightclubs, they were all called the same thing, in like different places. I'm trying to think if they do. I don't know. They're always different, owned by different people. That's true. But I want one nightclub that's everywhere. Like a Studio Fifty Four. <laughs> No. No? Okay. I wanted to be called Vault. Trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> the Vault? You would call it the Vault? Yeah, because I wanted to have a bank, uh, like a vault. Oh, in dude, that's super cool. Actually, yeah. um, we went to this restaurant back, I don't know, when I, again, I was in Five Nights and I was touring. Um, when you were cool. Yeah, when I was cool. <laughs> not, not so much cool anymore. Um, but uh, there was this, uh, it was like a restaurant bar, kind of really cool dive place, but it mm-hmm. had a bank vault door. Yeah. And it used to be a bank, actually, now that I think about it. I think it was in, was it in Chicago? I can't remember. Pittsburgh. I, th- I feel like it was Pittsburgh. I don't know. Yes. No. It was Detroit. It was Detroit. Because <laughs> I remember we played with 21 Pilots. And you played with 21 Pilots? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We, me, it was it was us. It was Five Knives, New Politics, and uh, 21 Pilots. We was the MTV Artist to Watch Tour. Yeah. In 2013. It was a lot of fun. Look at you. It was a lot of fun. And, in 2013? Uh, yeah. Hmm. It was a lot of fun, and that wasn't that long ago. I met a lot of good friends, and I, friends I still have today, like Soren. Soren's like one of my best friends, and he moved out here because I've been trying to tell him to move from New York for ever since I met him, because he would tell me how much he's paying in rent out there. I'm like, it's astonishing. I can't remember. I, no, I don't want to disclose oh. the amount because oh, no. I, I don't feel I, I don't feel like it's my place to say. Let's just say it was a, a lot of money for a very small like place, like more than rent is here oh yeah oh 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 yeah like, he has a he has a really 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 nice new it's one of those new builds out uh i want to say it's by east nashville yeah it's 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 right around in the east, east nashville area i can't remember what exactly the area it is but hmm. um but it's yeah really nice house fantastic and he's and he's paying just as he's paying less for that giant house than he did for Are you serious? yeah jeez i think so well, like triple the amount of rain <laughs> <laughs> i'm still trying i'm to not going to disclose the information <laughs> <don't wanna> <laughs> i will just i will tell you after the podcast okay. about that. but yeah when he told me that i was like you need to get the fuck out of new york yeah. you need to get the hell out of there and, and i tell it to my friends in la too i'm like dude what are you they're doing like studio apartments yeah like, like matchboxes it's it's getting so and it just it's not yeah, getting any beds better fold out the wall yeah oh god no <laughs> just like shit like that and i'm like dude no Mm-mm. none of that no and you know they had to, they had to rent a space to rehearse and stuff i'm like dude for as much as you guys are paying in rent and you guys could own your own fucking mansion if y'all live together yeah you know and just have a rehearsal space in the in the basement or something to do that. i know we, <laughs> we, I, I did i know somebody that did that that like got a whole bunch of friends together and like bought a house together i can't remember i don't have enough friends yeah maybe one's trying to be my friend <laughs> <laughs> well i feel like we're coming up on the last bits of the podcast really oh my god i'm like Cock-eyed you see that kind of like that went by fast right it was i think it was an hour and a half huh. about or about an hour and it wasn't about, that bad hour, it, uh, not that bad <laughs> it was not that bad um, we talk like this all the time though we do but it's just recorded now well it's it's funny uh i it's like i think you i seriously think that you were my, the youngest friend like that i talked to on the reg yeah and, and i can actually have a conversation with Mm-hmm. I remember this one time when we were on, on tour and these these uh, 19-year-old girls somehow got um, backstage. It was during the Warp Tour, so everyone kind of just walked around. And so somehow or another, Ashley is with me at the time, too. And uh, it was me, Ash, Nathan, Zach. Zach is at that time was like 25, so he was still young. But 
you know, whatever. But, and I was, <laughs> these girls somehow came up. I feel, think, feel like they were friends of Anna's. No, they weren't friends of Anna's. They were friends of somebody else that we were all just like sitting down. And I remember me and Hash were like trying to have a conversation with these 19 year old girls. And we're like, what are you even saying? Millennials. There's a lot of likes. <laughs> they say like a lot, which I, 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 I shouldn't say, say like that. A lot. I do say like a Play lot. Play this back and listen to how many times <laughs> I said like. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you because I can't hear myself. But it's like that Valley Girl. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, God, it's that Valley Girl accent. Like, I'm at Sunny Flight. And then I was like, hi. And like, uh, and then he was like, what? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah. It's, it gets kind of grating, uh, especially when you start focusing on it. You're like, shut up. <laughs> shut it. <laughs> But I couldn't like hold a conversation, and I was just that was the I felt really old at that moment. And I wasn't How that old. You then? I was twenty. I feel like I was twenty eight, twenty eight, twenty seven. Yeah, I felt old in that moment. Well, I feel it's old like, now. Oh my God, the other day we were talking about Hocus Pocus or something, and some kid was like, "I've never seen Hocus Pocus." <laughs> oh, like, what do you mean you've never seen Hocus? How old are you? Yeah, and Hocus Pocus is old for me. <laughs> yes, that's very so, true. Uh, that is very true. How like. <laughs> now I'm old. Like I can officially say that I'm old compared to like these younger ki- yeah, kids out here. It's going to keep happening too. It's <laughs> going to happen to things that you never thought would have happened. Like now I can say you don't know nothing about Hocus Pocus. Right. Like you don't know nothing about Twitches. Like bands, <laughs> bands that I used to listen to when I was in high school that I thought never get old or never come to a point where they would play on classic stations <laughs> are playing on classic stations now. <laughs> and I'm just... Oh, sitting here i don't want that day like i'm listening to what's gonna come on 92q now <laughs> freaking chris brown oh he's on like, his way wall to wall or something oh my god <laughs> you're gonna get old just like me or like a mindless behavior no they're never gonna go on the radio again <laughs> they're done you love that band. I was obsessed. I was a number one fan. I don't care who wants to come on and be like, no, I was a number one fan. No, I was a number one fan. I don't want to hear it. I love them, but did yeah, you, they're done. Did you have like posters on I, the wall and stuff? That was my wallpaper. I had every, like I bought every magazine just so I could put the posters on my wall because I wanted to have the best collage wall of their faces. I even had them in my bathroom. I had <laughs> them in my bathroom. I had them in my room. I had their song as my ringtone. They were my screensaver. Every time they posted a picture on Twitter, I screenshot it and posted it on my Facebook. Their, they, my Facebook was their fan page. <laughs> I had them on my binder in high school. I was obsessed. They, I met them like three times. Are they still together? No. Oh. <laughs> Heck no. I was Mindless obsessed. behavior. Mindless behavior. What kind of music was it? Was it like Disney music? <laughs> no. It was like... <laughs> know what their genre was i guess like pop is it R&B, pop rb rap <laughs> <laughs> they had like a few like they would have a rap in the song was it I knew like- every word i knew every dance i knew everything i wanted to dress like them <laughs> and they're boys so <laughs> i don't know what is, what is have you, what, what is this new boy band that's making the rounds? It's this new Korean boy band that's got oh, like uh, 10 BTS? members. BTS? Yeah. Yeah. It's six of them isn't there? Is there six because i remember watching something i don't know I'm, I'm completely out of the loop when it comes to boy bands in sync all the way motherfuckers all right <laughs> don't you dare encroach on my in sync wait see i get instant in sync and backstreet boys mixed up so which song is in sync what is There's that one. bye bye no that's bye the other. bye bye that's in sync yeah okay Everybody's there's gonna one, hate me two, now. Three, <laughs> oh my god, four, you not five, know. Six. There's seven. There's seven of them. Seven members. Well, no, one band. of them's a spokesperson though. Like one of them is like they're. I'm seeing them on stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, well, he can sing and stuff, but like one of them is like just to talk because he speaks like the most English, I guess. My thing is, how many harmonies do you need in one song? I don't know, but there's this other band, but I can't think of their name. But they are good. I wish I could think of their name. But it's cool that like Korean bands are becoming. Remember when Psy came out? Like, I don't know, it was like 2014. Remember Psy? No. Gangnam Style? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Gangnam Style. one song. 
He had another one that was really fun too. Did but he? Yeah. Oh, it was from his new album. Just from cheer competitions. So yeah. I love that video though. That video made me smile. <laughs> I <laughs> love that video because it was so silly. It was so silly. And that dance, I felt like that was the, the only dance that I could do. I could, I could do that dance. I could do that dance. Can you do that dance? I almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying. I can't do that I dance. I was trying my best. <sighs> <laughs> Not a good dance. It was a great dance. It was a silly dance. I feel it doesn't matter it, it doesn't matter if you can dance. If you're out there moving, shaking, enjoying yourself, people will notice and people will laugh. But it's good that they're laughing because you're, you're bringing joy to the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> that when you dance, it's hilarious. Yeah. When, I'm, when I get into it, I get into it. I'm like, yeah. But you stop when everybody starts looking. Oh, and that video of your of your of your dad dancing. Oh what, my what, god! What, what it's the, the in my feelings. The Drake, the Kiki. Do you love me? Oh my god! I showed him that dance one time, and now he does it at work. <laughs> <laughs> do you show your dad every dances time it all comes time? on? Well, me and my dad, we we do a lot of weird stuff like, uh, well that, and then I had to teach him how to rap. He had to do a rap for work because he I don't had know. to. Well, I don't know. Ever since the Kiki thing, <laughs> they were like, "Well, you can dance. Well, can you rap?" I guess he's like doing some kind of battle at work with these other people. So he had to do a rap, and he's been dancing with his coworkers. And people were like, "Who is your family? <laughs> Where are you like?" That's so <laughs> cute. Me. My dad is really white. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, he is British. That's pr- as, as white as you can get. He's really white. <laughs> And uh, yeah, his favorite dance is like the that. Oh, of he course, does this. that's the go-to that's for white go- people. Yeah, that's his go-to. Yeah, yeah. My, I, I started create like creating up my own ones, side. like mowing the lawn. Oh yeah, that's your Mo- thing. That's mowing the lawn. <laughs> I mean, you can. I, I think I got that from a comedian where he's like, you just make up, you know, the it, sprinkler. The sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. Or is it? <laughs> what was that dance? Oh man. Oh, what was that? It was that trap song. It was like when trap was really getting big and people started playing it at weddings. What is that song? It became a huge success. I can't remember. Gosh, dang it. It's not the uh, Silento song. No. Uh, Oh, gosh. Hang on. Wedding. Is it LMAFO? No. Is it? No. Um, Wedding trap song. Oh, God. I'll find it, damn it. <laughs> I'll find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I can't remember what it was. It's going to kill There's me. There's a song called Valid Like Salad, and it's like that. No, it's not. It's like a New York song. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, Wedding trap dance. I'm so glad you have a computer. <laughs> I do. Some stuff I just don't know. It's not trap. Is it? It's not trap queen. Is it trap queen? Trap queens is by uh, the guy with one eye. It's not trap queen. No. Uh, You're gonna kill me because now I want to know what it know. is. I want to know. I'm sorry. I'll I'll edit this. I'll edit this out because <laughs> I'm gonna freaking find it. It's killing me. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. Harlem Shake. That's what it is. Oh, the Harlem Shake. Do yeah. the Harlem Shake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Harlem Shake. Yeah. I didn't even. I didn't even find it. I just remembered it. Whew. Harlem Shake. Harlem Shake. But there's a different Harlem Shake. Yeah. There's a. It's an the actual dance. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then that came out, and then it was something else. And it became just. It, I would see it everywhere. I never knew how to Harlem Shake when I was little. Just. Well, because I called it the. The Bernie dance. The oh yeah, but there isn't there a song for that too. I don't know, but it's my know. wedding. Can we just stick to the cha cha slide? <laughs> the cha cha slide and the Cuban shuffle. Oh my god, the Cuban shuffle. Oh, Cuban shuffle. That's my jam. That yeah. comes on, everything shut down. It's so funny. It's like when that comes on on a wedding, and everybody just everyone, even people that has never danced. Before. I don't even have to do the like the dun 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 dun. No, the electric slide. No, I don't. I don't. We don't have to do that one. No, no. But that cha cha slide. And it's so funny, the the song choices now at weddings, 
um, like the skeet, skeet, skeet. That song. Oh yeah, is on at weddings all the time. That's everyone's and, jam. Yeah, everyone's jam. Cuss. <laughs> and you see grandmas dancing <laughs> to a song that's essentially uh, talking about <laughs> doing some things with their genitalia. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. When she sings it, huh? The proposal. I'm saying. Oh proposal. yes. <laughs> yes. That's my favorite part of the movie. I oh, just yeah. fast forward. Yeah. Well, all right. I think that I think that was a pretty good episode. What do you think, Chelsea? It wasn't that bad. You you got a knack, you got a knack for this. Mm. I kind of just forgot after a while. Yeah, there you go. Told you you. <laughs> I told you you just when forget. You, start, you just forget. Right. You're just sitting here and talking. But I wish you the best of luck. With everything oh, that so you're doing, plans, uh, you have so actually. many plans. <laughs> but you're, you know, you're going to school. You're doing the, you're doing it, you know, the the way you're supposed to do it. You know, you're not getting, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're not getting unfocused because you know what you want. Yeah. You know what you want to do, and hold on to that. That's what I did, and look at me now, <laughs> poor as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't follow you <laughs> yeah maybe just don't be a musician and you'll be fine i don't know how to play any instrument so <laughs> well i did play the flute but uh too dyslexic oh, and for that you, uh, and you were in gymnastics and cheerleading and cheerleading and sorry. ice skating ice skating that's right you actually did the 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 stuff the the twirling and the yeah and i was also really dyslexic so i could do my jumps both ways <laughs> <laughs> could you do a backflip yes on the ice Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. Would you be able to do it though, if you really put your mind to it? Do you think? Well, like a backflip on ice. Yeah. God no, I can't do a backflip on land now. Uh. I'm old and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Only been four years. <laughs> well, Chelsea, thanks for coming. You're welcome. I've been wanting to do this for a while because you, you're just you're just so you're just a, 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 a ray of sunshine. <laughs> and you always make me smile so and so and i feel like people need to go to your youtube channel oh. which is oh god it's miscellaneous miscellaneous which it's... is a fantastic name for a youtube channel i'm kind of jealous <laughs> it's a miss dot alanius do not ask me how to spell that cause i had to look it up yeah so <laughs> keep an eye out she's the future of youtube everyone she is going to take over think so i think so <laughs> well if i ever post anything i'm working on it i have two two vlogs that i'm editing at the same time that i just need to post yeah they're so old though no one's gonna care yeah careful not to get bogged down in when you're in that process you're just it's not good enough it's not good enough it's not good enough yeah. i don't even want to see this <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i see it i know you see it <laughs> you, you like to show me some of your stuff and i'm like don't show me this <laughs> i don't want to see it okay i'm sure <laughs> this is great this is so fun <laughs> i know but i'm gonna be like oh my god i look so bad <laughs> oh no i don't want to see it until it's done don't worry i'll put some photo effects on there you look, you're feeling you look great <laughs> you look <laughs> fantastic look at your makeup your makeup is fantastic i did it in 20 minutes and i ran on a foundation you better stop at the store, but the mall or so. Where do you where do you get your foundation? Sephora. Go to stop by Sephora. Sephora's closed. They need a twenty four hour makeup spot. I'm gonna have one of those. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's another business I want. Twenty four hour Sephora. Well, thanks for coming, Chelsea. You're welcome. You we can't stop talking. Can't, can't stop talking. <laughs> we'll do this again. Okay. Maybe we'll do it with. Maybe you and Cece and Ash and you guys can have like a makeup podcast. Yeah, we should and just do just our, we should makeup. take over. And you'll take over. That'll be fun. We'll be and I'll set it all up and then I'll just, I'll be the producer. I'll be like just on the corner and if you guys need anything, you know, you guys need any drinks or you guys need... Oh, yeah. Any, yeah, I'll be, I'll, yeah. I'll be the little bitch that's what, running around getting you guys shit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. We need a longer table though. This yeah, is not I, yeah, I, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Feel on this table, but I'm too broke to go and no, get a, it's cute. No, another but one. But we just need like two more yeah, for all our makeup. <laughs> yes, and just oh, well, just yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it could be like a podcast. Get ready with me. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the light bulbs are going. Yeah. We're ready. We're ready to I need do to go this. To bed. Yeah. All right. Let's let's go. We're done. We're done <laughs> We're with the done. podcast. Goodbye. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs>